This is Mr. Burley at St. Elizabeth Catholic School. In the last tutorial, so we're going to continue with the Jeep in this tutorial. In the last one, we moved the, we copied the tire and moved it forward, the wheels, and we moved one at the back as well. So now I want to come, I want to model the front face. And if you look at the front of the vehicle, you can see this is squared off, whereas the Jeep's got the nice round curve. Now the, now the, the actual canvas doesn't line up perfect. You can play with it and do it, but in this case, I'm going to just draw ahead. The shape that I know that these this usually is in. So you click uh, create front sketch, sit on the front face, and I'm able to get up, sit on that front face because the face is flat. So now I'm going to come in here. I'm going to click somewhere around this neighborhood and then come across. And you can see really it would run around around there, but I'm going to bring it out further because it's actually going to be out further. And now I'm going to click here. Uh, I'm going to use arc three point arc. I'm going to click the end of that line, and I'm going to click down here somewhere in that neighborhood and I'm going to come out so it looks more like a Jeep, the shape of a Jeep. Now I'm going to grab that line there where I was previously. I'm going to come down on an angle this way down here like that, somewhere here, and I'm going to come across to that, and I'm going to go up here back to the start point. And now you can come in here and you can delete these segments. They're just kind of warnings that are telling you there might be something wrong. And get rid of him too. And now I'm going to press pull this one. So I'm going to press pull it. And I'm going to press pull it back in here like this. And I don't want it cutting. I want to join it. And you can see now if I go scroll up like this, you can see the front of the Jeep looks a little bit more correct. I'm going to bring it back in until it blends right in. Something like that. I can actually bring it right back until it touches that surface right there. Is probably good somewhere in that neighborhood. Click OK. And now if I go to the front view, or the back view in this case, you can see it's a little bit more. I'm going to shut off the origin for a second and you can see it looks a little bit more realistic. Okay, so now I want to cut that shape out so that it goes right back to the window because this 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 radius here would run right back. So how do I do that? Is I just actually I can keep that turned off. I don't need it at the moment. I'm going to do the front view or back view. I'm going to create a sketch. I'm going to sit on this front face again. Then I'm going to create a line from here, which is right on that edge. And I'm going to do the circle again, or the arc rather, three point arc. And I'm going to go from there to there. And I'm going to line, zoom right in so I get it nice. I'm going to line him up. Then I'm going to create a line from there out, just in the middle of nowhere. It doesn't make any difference. Up to here somewhere. Across to here. I want it directly above him and then down to him. All right, and now I'm going to right click this guy and I'm going to press pull him. This time I'm going to actually I'm going to press pull. Press pull, click it. Okay, bear with me. And now I'm going to use it as a cutting. So, I'm going to go right I'm going to cut it right back to the sill of the window right to there. So, I'm going to and it's in cut mode. So, I'm going to go straight back and you can see what it's doing. It's creating that shape. And I'm going to go right in tuck it right up against that sill. And then I'm going to click OK. And now you can see it looks more realistic. It looks it looks like the shape of the Jeep from the front end. Um, I could have done a better job here, uh, but it's OK. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to do the front of the hood. The front of the hood doesn't look like this. It looks, first thing we're doing is make a great sketch. I'm going to sit on this face here. I'm going to grab a this guy. I'm going to scroll right in. I want to make sure I grab the right spot like that. I'm going to come down into the, close to the windshield, so you can scroll around and make sure you're in the right spot. And I come right into there. Okay, and now I'm going to go right click, press pull. And I'm going to select that whole thing. And bring it up here. And I'm just going to use it as a cutting tool. I want to cut that previous shape I off I had, so I'm going to cut it off. And now it's gone. Okay, so now it's starting to to again look more like a Jeep. Now I'm going to sit on a creative sketch and I'm going to sit on this face. On a, on a Jeep, that would be sloped up slightly on an angle. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sketch, sit on that face. I'm going to do something similar as I did before. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to grab that corner. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab that corner. I'm going to right click, press pull, and I'm going to now pull that section up. Give me a second, dude. So that it's even with that. Okay. You can measure it if you want. You can click here and click here, get an exact dimension and type it in here. I'm going to join it. And now it's flat. 
Now the last step is I'm going to create a chamfer or an angle on the front. Now the first thing I got to do is I got to inspect and I got to measure this distance from here to here. And I'm using the con I hold the control key down to do that. And you can see it's 200 microns, so decimal two. So you make note of that decimal two. And that's on that axis. And now you're going to go here, and you're going to measure this one. You're going to measure from here to here. So I'm going to close up for a second. I'm going to inspect. I'm going to measure from that point right there. Hold the control key down and select that one. And you can see it's 4.35 millimeters long. 4.35. And again, make a note of that. Because we're going to come in and chamfer. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to go modify. We're going to chamfer. We're going to click this line right here. And then we're going to go two distances. Distance number one, you can see it's aiming back this way, and if you remember, it's 4.35 on distance number one. You can drag this back and forth too on your own, or you can just do it this way, 4.35, enter, and then this one here, up and down, was decimal two, 200 microns, and you click OK, and now you can see I created a nice sweeping front end. You could now continue modeling with this. You can come in here, modify, do a fillet, do a nice little fillet in here, maybe you know, 0.1, I don't know, something like that. And you can start to see it's now looking like a cheap. Okay, so that's the last, well, not the last video. The next one, uh, we'll figure out what the next one is at the moment. But So the front end's modeled. Um, you got the general shape from the side, so everything's looking realistic now, more realistic.